By pressing the bell icon, you'll receive all my new videos, and a press on the thumbs up would be much appreciated. Right, folks, that's us. Start of our, our second camp. Secret Loch number two. I think there's a path all the way to where we're going. And then there, uh, it's sort of hidden. You know, that's why when I first found out about this, it, it was called Secret Gem. Secret oh, Gem Loch. Secret gem, eh? And it's remaining a secret. It's remaining a secret. It's Romanian. Scott's Wild Camper. The wild camping channel for the great outdoors. like we timed it nice. Most people have just left. We've been here about 20 minutes. It doesn't look too, well, there's nobody with any rucksacks. You might hear that drone. I can't see it but I can hear a drone above me. Not many people left, big crowd left, all at the one time. And I think that's the spot there. I think that's going to be, that's going to be the camp spot and there's a fire pit. We've not got any wood and I think we've had a, done a fire last night. Let's leave the fires alone I think. Yeah. I don't think you're not supposed to have fires in here. Anyway, I, I don't think. Anyway. Anyway, it's a bit too early to get my tent up. Mark's away, I'm looking after the bags. He's away up with his, with his camera gear. Up there. So he walked around there, so... Somewhere up there. He's not going right up at the top, but, you know, a wee ledge. Up about there, I think he said he'll go. Try and take a photograph of the, the locking for a high angle. Right, I'm going to uh, maybe drink a coke and a bit of chocolate. Sit in the sun.
going a wee, well, it's a night hike, evening hike from the secret loch, or Mark's what you call it, the fairy loch, <laughs> to the secret bothy. Aye, just don't want to mention the names of places so much now, that's what the secret bit is. We do I encourage the the wrong crowd going. The buffoons. The buffoons, yeah. The wreckers, the vandals, and the neds. Party campers. Ah, uh, party campers, yeah. There's nothing wrong with party camping if you clear your no, mess. It's, not, clean it's not that. Yeah. It's just to just wreck the place and leave a pile of rubbish. Chopping of the trees, and, aye. Or then their seat will break, they fold these seats, the cheap things, eh? Aye. They'll break, so they just leave them lying. Oh, they'll leave seven, aye. And you're like, yeah. They'll take them home because they're all rusty and covered in little pointy burn. Here's a wee look back because uh, I think the next time we're walking. Well, we're walking towards this. It'll be it'll be dark, and the camera will not pick up anything. Just using my wee Sony action cam. So I don't know what you're seeing, but hopefully I'm picking up the the mountain at the back. There was a fork in the road there, so it's two paths. So we just went this one. I think I. I'm not going to mention any names again, but I, I think when I checked for the walk to the Bothy, this thing was mentioned. The, I might as well see the bridge was mentioned, so yeah. we'll see. We're going a wee walk anyway, heat us up. Heat us up. Look at that, that's yeah. gorgeous. There's no wind now, is there? Yeah. The wind was getting up from there. This. I believe that to be the bothy. That wasn't 30. <laughs> that was never 30 minutes. And probably 15 minutes walk for the for the loch. I'll show you the view. Whatever you can see. I should have brought the big camera up. I didn't realise it was that short a walk. Next time, eh? Next time. All right, wasn't it? That wasn't the thirty minutes. That's it's fifteen minutes, eh? Fifteen minutes. Aye. Right. Some. Landscape. I know. It's a photographer's paradise up here. The only thing I would say, there's no a lot of camping, good camping spots, does no. there? No, a lot of camping, but. You can get round the bothy. Aye. And there's a lot of grass. We'll have a look in the bothy in a minute. Right, I've got my light man, Mark, with me. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, that was a very short hike. I, I didn't want to take any footage of the bothy because there was a couple in there, so. It's a small bothy, isn't it? Aye. You could. It's, it's, it's maybe get warm three though. in it. Aye, it's warm though, Aye. but. Yeah. And they didn't even have the stove for that one, but it was warm inside. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're coming back, coming back in the morning and take some footage. footage. That's it. Right. So I think I'll, I'll, I think we'll take any more yeah. footage for the night. Yeah. So I'll say good night. Say good, good night, night, Mark. Good night. <laughs> good night. See you in the morning, John Boy. <laughs> morning, folks. Tuesday, 6 a.m. exactly. <laughs> I just got up about 5, 5.35. I checked the phone. I went to bed 10, 10 p.m. again, near enough. Nice, nice morning, crisp, crisp. Crisp morning. <laughs> I marked stuff snoring away, so I'll not disturb him. Aye. 
nice here. Nice wee place. I'll show you. Well, I, sh I took tons of footage around the uh, locking yesterday. But I never really said much, which probably <laughs> you'll probably be glad of. So just a, a knee, another. So just another wee bit of footage and a wee vlog, and that'll that'll be me finished. Don't know if the camera's picking up all the trees in the in the in the water. It's dead trees. There's a view looking back to the tents. Now we got it ourselves. Always good. <laughs> Never saw any fairies or pixies. There's the stairs. And the viewpoint's just up there. I'm not going up again. I took enough footage, as I said. And these trees are fascinating. And something like a horror movie. Or the... Game of... No, no Game of Thrones. Well, Game of Thrones as well, but the... Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit. That's the type of trees that come alive. Look at the roots in that. <laughs> Don't need special effects for that tree, eh? Look at that. And they're all like that here. Excellent. Just a pity, I could have done me another night. It was my fault, I said to Mark. Uh, maybe Monday, Tuesday. Sorry, Sunday, Monday's enough. Because of the weather. Plus the weather is going to deteriorate. So Mark's going into work Wednesday. Now, so am I, Wednesday night. But I could have done, this is Tuesday. So I could have done another night. Someone going up the main road. Here's another wee locking. I don't think that would judge me the size of it. That would just that wouldn't even be called a locking. Just a a wee bit of water, a big puddle, small body of water shooting into the sun. I think I bought an ND filter, uh, a variable ND filter, but I'll need to learn how to use it. I'll end the footage here, I think. It's a beautiful area. We'll certainly be back here. I'd like to come back in winter and see it. You've got the you've got the locking, you've got the body, and then you can walk further out. It, it doesn't look very good for camping, to be honest, but I'm sure you can. You'd be able to 
find a few spots for tents plus once you head out that's it <laughs> just need to make the best of it so that's been a really good trip the weather's been good the midges as I said I think already this morning we had 10 minutes really I had to have put the nets on and then it's been great so my next trip is uh, a secret beach this time well another secret beach with Derek Derek and Stuart, Colin Kevin, John Paul uh, Sinclair, Julie so it's going to be quite a me, maybe Mark it's going to be quite a crowd so that that'll be in not too long two weeks and then it'll be Billy get a something a wee bit harder done so I'll see you for the next one